Hello and welcome back. And today we are going to be reviewing some of the changes to test ships and from what I can tell some of the final um, changes to some of them at least. Um, so starting off with the Napoli, it got it, it it's crazy how good the ship is going to be if they release it now. But they were not happy with how the secondary batteries um, we're currently doing. And if you have not heard, this is a secondary cruiser. So Wargaming made changes, so now the Sigma was changed from, was in, actually increased from 1.9 to 2.05. But here's the big changes. Secondary battery, the 152mm reload from 8 seconds down to 7.2, and the 90mm um, are reduced from 3.5 to 3.2. And guess what? Now, these secondaries are the most accurate in the game. Most a More accurate than any other ship. With, I think you can get it up to like 9 kilometers or something. This is going to have better secondaries than Kerfirst, Georgia, and Massachusetts. Um, you also get those sap shells on your secondaries. Um, that's pretty much it um, for the changes for Napoli, but yeah, you have the total 9 guns with 17 second reload, so your main battery is not great, but like 7, I think you can get up to 9 with a secondary build, like it's, let me check, what are Kerfer space range, I think with Kerfer you can get them up to about 13 kilometers, but it's also a battleship. Um, yeah, Kerfirst you can get up to about 12 kilometers with a secondary build, so I think you might be able to get that to maybe even um, 9 or 10 kilometers with um, Napoli. Okay, next ship, the Druid. Um, the only thing that changed is the detection was increased from 8.1 to 8.4. Um, so this is definitely a gunboat, as you can tell by no torpedoes. Um, they also removed the druid's um, super heal and put it with the regular repair party, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but this is druid's pretty comparable to both Friesland and the French destroyers, as in more um, gunboats than torpedo boats and not good detection. Um, Constellation, we have uh, the Sigma was increased from 1.7 to 1.9 and the view range is increased from 24 kilometers to 25.4 or no, 25.25 um, kilometers. Um, looks to be honest, Constellation, I think, is going to be a pretty good ship. It looks like the guns look to be about the same size as Colorado's, but I think they're going to be way more stronger. Secondaries are going to be decent. You get torpedoes and radar. Depends on what they nerf, but this seems like a pretty good ship. This ship, the Borodino. Not much news on this ship. Been out for a long time, just then in testing, not out for the public. I know it's in Russian, but you only get two, um, two triple turrets of, um, I don't know how big those guns are. I don't know if they tell you how big the guns are, but they're pretty big. Um, 40% chance of setting a fire with each shell hit for HE. Um, I. They nerf that up to a 30 second reload, I believe. Yep, 30 second reload. And board and the note is Borodina will be tested uh, first with two different settings of main battery reload time. First, we want to collect the information about how the ship statistics will be affected by the reload increase to 28 seconds, and then with the release of 10.4, Borodino's 30 second. Um, but not much information on the ship, it's pretty, um, it's not heard from a lot, um, you get 32 top, 
32 knots top speed, 64,000 hit points. Um, I mean, you have pretty good guns um, for a battleship. Um, they're big, max dispersion, max dispersion of 212, which is pretty crazy. That's rather small. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see when they release this. It is does seem like a pretty small battleship, though. It's not a big Kremlin sized ship. Next ship, the Weimar. Um, the main battery reload time was increased from 6.5 to 7. The firing range was increased from 13.3 to 14. And the view range was increased from, or decreased from 23 to 19. Um, and that's, I mean, Waymar also seems like a pretty good ship. It is going to be a spammer ship with those, um, 12 guns and a 7 second reload. You do only get 14 kilometer range, which it's good, but compared to some of the other um, German ships, like the York with, I think you can get York to 17, um, but York doesn't also get that rapid uh, firing speed. So we'll see how this ship ends up working out. Next ship is going to be the Bor- um, not the Borg, you know, that was the last one. The Yukon, um, the restoration of non citadel damage was reduced from 75% to 60%, which is, I mean, this ship is already going to need help, it is a Monarch class, um, unless they make more changes to it, but it doesn't seem super, super good, um, we'll, we'll see how the ship does turn out to be, but you got those 9 guns, um, 30 second reload, um, it's not, the guns don't turn fast like Thunderer, you only have a 34% chance of setting fire per shell, which is a little bit disappointing, um, not great secondaries at all, um, your AA is meh, like, your, your speed is only a max of 28 knots, um, firing range of 15.7, 60,000 hit points, and, um, yeah, like, just doesn't seem like a super great ship, to be honest. Next ship is going to be the Issei, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, the torpedo bombers were changed, the crew speed from 35 knots to 22 knots, and the hit points were increased from uh, 1,670 to 1,820. So a little bit of uh, both a nerf and a buff for Issei, but this ship if you are playing it, you do not want to get, if you do have to get super close to a destroyer, do not turn around because you have no guns back there. You will be absolutely useless, for instance, like the Jean Bart and the Dunkirk. The Agincourt, with the nice camo on, um, your secondary guns were, um, the reload time was reduced from 4.5 to 4 for the 152mm, and then the 100, er, not the 100. The 76 millimeters were reduced from 3 to 2.7. Um, so you do get some pretty big secondary guns with um, 152 millimeter um, for the Agincourt. But just it's just another dreadnought. I don't think we need any more added um, of those added to the game. Next ship, Tiger 59. The surveillance radar range was decreased from 10 to 9 kilometers. Um, this ship is also going to be interesting. I mean, they're all completely different. We're not, they don't, there's not many clones out of this group. Um, a lot of new ones that may work in current meta or may not with the removal of Deadeye. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, the L-Bang, the main battery reload was reduced from 7.5 to 7.1. That's it for the German destroyers. They should be out soon. The Congress, the Tier 8, um, Alaska, uh, main battery firing range reduced from 19 to 17.5. The reload time was increased from 22 to 20 to 22 seconds, and hit points was reduced from 60,000 to 51,000. And the last thing is the airstrike parameters. Um, these have been updated. Um, how they do not say. But the Day Rooters 
um, main battery firing range without the gunfire control system module is reduced from 13.8 to 12.5. Um, so how the airstrike works is you can click the four. I think you have limited charges, maybe not. I think it like will fill up depending on how recently you've used it. A group of five, um, a squad will come in, drop two sets of bombs, I believe. Um, Ichi bombs um, um, from parachutes, and then at a certain distance, the parachutes will disconnect and the bombs will fall the rest of the way on their own. Um, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching.